right guys, you've cleared out a heart rate training, you understand form, now you're ready to take off on that first run. So what do you need to do first? We've got to warm up. I always recommend a dynamic warm up first. Why is that? Because static stretching is meant for flexibility problems, not for before a workout. What we need to do is we need to prime our muscles and get ready to move as efficiently as possible. So that's what this next warm up is getting ready to do. Prime those muscles, get your brain right so you're ready to head out on that run. The first start of that dynamic warm up is going to be a high karaoke. So this is going to prime up and warm up those hips at end range of motion. What you're going to be doing is moving like you did in grade school through that grapevine, except whenever you cross over, that hip's going to come up nice and high towards your chest and then come across your body. You're going to keep those shoulders back nice and tall. The second part of the dynamic warm up is those leaning towers. You remember if you didn't clear out of ankle mobility, you've already seen this one. What you're going to do is grip those toes nice and tight inside your shoes and lean forward from your ankles. Again, keeping those shoulders back and just leaning from the ankles until you almost fall forward and then pull back again. All right, your third exercise in your dynamic warm up. Now we're getting down onto the ground. So this is gonna look like a bear crawl, or I also like to call this the Spider-Man crawl. You're gonna be in a plank position. You're gonna reach your arm out as high as you can first, and then bring up the opposite hip as high as you can. You're gonna put your foot right next to your hand as long as you can keep that heel down. All right, your fourth exercise. You also saw this one if you didn't pass posture. You're gonna lay down on the ground. You're gonna be opening up. So your knees are gonna be up towards your chest and then you're gonna be laying on your side, bringing that open book and landing your hand on the opposite side to stretch out your mid back. Now we're on our fifth exercise of that dynamic warm up. You're gonna do knees to chest. So you're gonna do three to five, just pulling that knee nice and high to your chest, getting a good stretch, making sure you can balance on the opposite side. Then you're gonna go ahead after those three to five and head straight into a quick jog with your knees up towards your chest, nice and high. The sixth exercise of this dynamic warm up is squat jumps. The reason for these is to get those buns working. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna squat down, Jump up nice and high. Whenever you land, I want those knees bent. Catch as low into that squat as you can with balancing and then push off again. I want these to be nice and slow. Only move as fast as you can with a proper catch. If you are landing with your knees straight, that is a high risk for injury. Make sure you're catching in that knee bend. All right, the last exercise in that dynamic warm up is lateral bounding. Again, this is a glute primer. We want those glutes to kick in to stabilize us every time we take a stride. So what you're gonna be doing is moving side to side nice and quick. You're gonna jump out as far as you can, nice soft knee bend, catch that landing, stabilize in single leg stance, push off and repeat on the opposite side. 